The legend lives on in the website that's known by the unusual name of Schizopolis. These people, you see, love the IMDB, but avoid certain ones in the populace. With a host of the most of the people who post the best messages all put together, this good site was found to be great all around, no matter the season or weather. This group was the one that had the most fun as all posted topics with pleasure. As good friendships go, it was better than most, and everyone there was a treasure. Allowing for doubt that their secret would out, some harbored dark thought of discovery. So they emailed away and did each have a say in the method they'd used for recovery. But a smell in the wind from the sandbox again of gasoline loose in the night sky made everyone rue what a lit match could do in the hands of an evil but bright guy. The news came at last, and the message was passed that sex in excess had come slashing. When afternoon came, the whole site was aflame with the main message boards also trashing. When supper time came, old Keno logged on, saying everyone needs to start packing. By midnight that night, they were all in a flight, with nary a one of them slacking. Then Pippin emailed before her PC had failed that their cookies would not work at all now. And early that morning, as Prophetess had warned, their modems could not make a call out. Delia dialed in, but could not be logged in, as Comrade and Keller rebooted. Mike says and Stell were mired in PC hell, and Mickey could not be computed. Driftwood was shamed and felt he was to blame, as he dove headlong into a tidal wave. His last thought, perhaps of the love of lost chaps in the wreck of Hernando's hideaway. Does anyone know why the love of man goes when a flame war begins for no reason? With a face not quite red, sex in excess said that all he had done was just teasing. They might have split up, or they might have changed names. Some say they're dead. But I doubt him. The hideaway gang went out with a great bang, and questions are still raised about him. The sandbox remains. Schizopolis, too, in the minds of the casual poster. And the message boards seem like a movie buff's dream, a wild ride on film's roller coaster. And somewhere above, this website they loved. Times change as do all the fashions. But as true legends go, it's a comfort to know that some flames cannot burn up passion. So in a musty old sight of a movie that might have never been right for releasing, you'll find a message or two from the occasional few who find each other's company quite pleasing. The legend lives on in the website that's known by the unusual name of Schizopolis. The people you see love the IMDB, but avoid certain ones in the populace.